Hey, 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 Graham. Hi, everybody. Uh, so we were just playing an interesting hand, um, but we messed things up. So we're uh, recording it again. Um, and Graham is a no notoriously bad actor, so we decided early. I think okay. I could pull it off, Graham. I think I could pretend to be seeing the hand for the first time. Ah, oh, um, let me. This is, looks like an interesting hand I've never seen before. Yeah. That's it's great. Keep going. They'll never know. <laughs> Here it is. Look at this hand you've never seen before, Graham. Oh. All okay. right. Anyway, Graham, would you play this hand? And can we sit on your shoulder? And uh, I'll I'll pepper you with some questions as we go. Sure. First question that uh, I was struck by right away. Here we go. We we have a pretty decent hand, uh, and East opens our best suit. How do you respond? What do you do? Well, I pass. I'm I'm quite happy playing in spades, and we're already in spades. We're defending spades at the moment, which is great. Mm. Uh, I know some people might be tempted to double to show their points, but. I don't want to show my points. I only want to show my points if I actually want partner to bid something. There's no point showing my points if I want partner to pass. Mm. And I want to pass because I don't, if you, if you said to me, you can play any suit you like, what suit would you want to play in? I would say, well, I'm happy in spades. Right. So the thing I want to be doing is encouraging partner to bid something else. Mm. This is a great defensive hand. Mm. Maybe that's the best way of looking at it. This is a, a good hand to defend, so I'm going to pass. Good hand to defend. Yeah. Very balanced. Um, great pass. Three no trumps. And it's my lead. Real fast, just I hope you appreciate our, the high budget graphics I've uh, inserted into the video. Wow, good hand to defend. <laughs> Let's go. Okay. Okay, so now remember this is, uh, I have, we, we have, we got halfway through this hand last time. And That's not true, Graham. Graham. Oh, okay. Sorry. Wow. I dreamt about this hand, and when I dreamt about this hand, I had to decide what to lead. Yeah. And I decided that I was not going to lead a spade, even though it's my only four card suit, because East bid spades. So I want to keep my Ace King 10 sitting over East spades. Because um, you want the opponent, you want East to lead towards your spades. Right. I can take the ace king of spades anytime I want. Right. What I, what I want to do is I want to use the king, hopefully, to take east's jack. Uh -huh. and ace, hopefully, to take east's queen, and then my 10 will be a winner. If the 10 was a 5 or a 2, would that change things? Well, I still wouldn't lead a spade because all I would make is two spade tricks. All I'm doing by playing spades, it would be setting up East's long suit. Mm. Are you playing five card? Are you playing uh, Ackle or Standard? Is uh, East one uh, spade? I'm playing uh, four card majors, so that East, East one spade might be a four card suit. It's normally five, but it might be a four card suit. So uh, I'm not going to lead a spade. Could lead a diamond, but West has bid diamonds. I don't mind a diamond because it just could be a safe lead. Not that keen on it. Not keen on leading a heart because I want to sit back and wait for that queen of hearts. So I, in my dream, I lead a club just because it looked safe. Maybe I can set some clubs up for partner. Not sure. I think I also might have asked in your dream. Um, in your dream, I feel like I had heard often uh, the expression, never lead away from an ace. 
Do, would that apply to this hand? Why or why not? In this hand, if I lead, leading away from an ace just means leading a small card in a suit in which you hold the ace. So mm. if I lead the four of clubs, that would mean I'm leading away from an ace. And in a suit contract, that can be a bit dangerous because imagine, for example, that dummy has only got a singleton club mm. in a suit contract. If I lead it, if I lead it, the four of clubs, say, and then when I get the lead back, it might be too late to take my ace of clubs. The clearer might not have any clubs left. And might be right. Able so if you're playing in a suit contract, if there's a chance that the opponents could rough, if they might have a singleton, you, there's good reason not to lead away from. Right. You know, but no, no trump, that doesn't apply. Sure. And no trumps if I, if I lead the four of clubs. As long as we get the lead back sometime, which we almost certainly will, then I can take that ace of clubs later anyway. Mm. So not going to lead a spade, not that keen on a diamond, definitely not going to lead a heart, and so I'm going to lead the four of clubs. Leads a heart, you know, it's a bit of a guess. Right, so now notice that West let won the jack of clubs so that and and north did not play a higher honor on the jack of clubs so we know that east must have the king and queen of clubs hmm it started with at least a three card club suit and has king right right so we'll play low here Now, in my dream, <laughs> when this situation came up uh, in my dream earlier, I was thinking of playing the Queen of Hearts now. Uh -huh. The reason I was thinking about doing that was that uh, if I play the Nine of Hearts and Declara plays another round of Hearts, I'm going to win the Queen which is great, but I'm going to be the one on lead. And I'd really rather my partner was going to lead something. So I was tempted in my dream to play the Queen of Hearts, but I did not. Now, just make it clear for us, why, why do you want partner to be on lead? Are you just avoiding responsibility? <laughs> well, I want... What I want to happen is I want partner to lead a club so because then my ace and ten are sitting over East's honours. Or I want my partner to lead a spade so that I can wait to see what East plays and then I can choose whether, whether to play the ace or the king or the ten. But if I'm on lead, yeah. I have to play the first card and then East, East is in the best position because if I play the ace of spades, East will just play low. And if I play the four of spades, he's will win the nine or whatever. Now, is there a risk, though? Do you know that partner has the jack? Does it matter? Well, it does matter. It, it, it seems if Declare has got the if I play the queen now and Declare has got the jack of hearts, then and I'm going to the trick. It's gonna so how do you it. know East doesn't have the jack? It just seems like a strange way to play the hand. Why is why did if East had Ace Jack and another heart, then she probably would have finessed. She would have played the King of Hearts and then a low heart to the Jack. Hmm. Why would she play the? Why would you play it that way? Hmm. Seems a strange way to play. I think East is more likely just simply got a four card heart suit without the Jack. Right. I mean, it's strange that East is playing hearts at all. She'd only play hearts. Ah. So I'm, we're suspecting that East has got a four-card heart suit without the jack. So that the jack. Huh. probably right for me to play the queen of hearts here. But um, All right. Well, as it was only in your dream, and as we can remember, 
uh, you are playing this hand for the first time, <laughs> really. You are. Play, play, play what you like. Let's see what happens if you do play that queen. Yeah. So the way this is going, it does look like the clearest start with a four card heart suit. Oh, great. See, that's good. Great. Right. Okay, now I think here's, this is interesting. So we know that East, just cast your mind back to the first trick. Okay. I played a small club and West played the jack of clubs and North played low. So we know that North, sorry, we know that North does not have the king or queen of clubs. Therefore, right. East has got the king and queen of clubs. Right. And East played low on the first round of clubs and the nine this time and he still has the king and queen of clubs so east must have started with king queen and two small clubs four code club suit and we know by the way east is playing the hearts that she has a four card heart suit and we know that east opened one spade so what sort of hand has East got? It must be. Uh, oh, my gosh. When you start doing this, I'm still amazed. It's like, how are you thinking of all this while we were talking? But, right, so East open one spade, so must have at least four spades. Mm -hmm. You talked about why we know uh, East has four hearts. And how many clubs? I get, right, uh, the first one low, and the king, queen, and this, so a four-card club suit. Now that leaves just one. Right, so East must have started with four, four, one, four shape. And you say, how can I do this while halfway through the hand? But that's that's all we need to be doing. That's all we should be doing. Is There's nothing else to think about. We're just following suit. We can use all that. You know, that's that's just what you do when you're defending. You try and figure out what the missing mm. cards are. Mm. So uh, should, should East have played a king or a queen here? Why would East play play that nine? Well, East knows that I've got the king, uh, the ace of clubs. So East is just hoping that North has got the ten of clubs. From uh -huh. East point of view, East, East doesn't know where the Ten of Clubs is. Right. So it's just East is sort of taking a finesse. And it's it. not going to work. Now, I don't, East hasn't played this very well because it would have been better for East, even with a singleton diamond, to establish that diamond suit. Mm. But that's okay. Sometimes defenders make mistakes. Oh, sometimes declarer makes mistakes. Mm. So at this point, I... Uh, I'm still, uh, Declarer's got one diamond, and it's either the singleton ace or partner's got the ace of diamonds, but that diamond suit and the dummy is useless. What I really want to do now is sit back and wait for those spades tricks to come to me. Uh, hmm. But what's going to happen, it, suppose I play a diamond, for example. If I play a diamond now, and suppose East wins the ace of diamonds and plays another club, now I'm stuck. Right, um, and East can't, if if the shape is 4-4-4-1, four, 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 and East can't lead a diamond back. There's no entry back to West. Right, that's right. Wow. Oh, that's the so, worst. I hate when that happens. Right. Mm. So what, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to play the ace of clubs. I know that's setting up a club for East. I know that's going to make East's last club a winner. But I can I can get off lead now. I can, I'm worried that if I play a diamond, East will just play a club back to me. Then I'll be on lead and I'll be stuck. I'll be stuck either having to lead spades or clubs. It's a big so, game of hot potato. Hot potato, yeah. 
No one so, wants to be a lead. Right. Crazy. And now I can just sit back and wait for my, I'm going to make at least three spade tricks now. How about that? Because East has to lead into the spades, you know exactly how to play them. Okay, now again here, see if I play the king of spades now, winning the trick, I'm stuck because then I would be on lead and I would have to lead the ace of spades and East will play low or a small spade. So I'll just play the four of spades. Just waiting for that check. Just waiting. And now East will play a spade and I'll get the last. Now they're all mine. It was quite a neat hand to defend. It was one. So cool. We just had to sit back and wait, 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 wait. Game of and waiting. Game of waiting. Passive defense, like this is often called. Just mm. don't, don't attack, just sit back and wait. Uh, now we can see, look, East, East did not play this hand well because all she could have just taken the ace of diamonds. Uh huh and then crossed over to the King of Hearts and run all the diamonds. But, you know, declare is make mistakes sometime. Mm. Uh, it would be good practice, too, to replay then, re replay this hand from East, East seat, and try to avoid that whole mess. Right. Mm. Yeah. Ah, cool. Mm. Yeah, fun hand. That's a nice hand. Well, thank you for playing that, Graham. I, I take away from me, again comes down to that hand vis visualization and the 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 clues that uh enable us to know that east has a four four one four hand a four 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 one hand and how that changes the strategy and also hearing the importance of not wanting lead avoiding lead even if we have some sure winners right yeah Cool. All that visualization stuff, it's not so hard. You just got to do it. All the clues are there. Ah. Good one. Ah, thank well, thank you, Graham. Thank you, everyone, for uh, joining us. If you have any questions about this hand, uh, wherever you see this video, leave a comment below, play the hand, and uh, until next time. See ya.